Trust me guys, if you wanted me to apply oil on top of my oily skin until last year, I would have totally freaked out. I would have charged you like a grand in order to do it because the idea of applying oil on top of oily acne prone skin just doesn't sound right. But I actually proved myself wrong over time and I learned that the right kind of oil can actually heal your skin, balance that moisture level and also regulate the sebum production. Not only that, it can actually dissolve the pore and get rid of black heads and whiteheads. I know a lot of you guys are still skeptical about it so just trust me and just grab my hand right here and then follow my lead and I'm totally going to convert you into an oil addict after watching my video so just watch me. Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> So how do we find the right oil for acne prone skin? It's pretty simple. You might want to go for something that's thinner and drier in texture. You want something that penetrates well into your skin, absorbs well into your skin. Therefore, it can really dissolve all the pore gunks. And these oils are generally high in linoleic acid content. And I know it sounds super sciencey because it is, <laughs> but it's so important to learn what linoleic acid is. It's basically an unsaturated fatty acid that's called omega-6. Acne patients have shown to have a very very low level of linoleic acid content in their natural sebum. The deficiency in linoleic acid in their sebum is actually making the sebum to be more stickier, more thicker, and gloopier. So it eliminates all the oxygen inside your sebum, therefore it kind of captures all the acne bacteria to grow and flourish down there and it clogs your pores, therefore acne happens. So what you want to do is you want to just inject those linoleic acid high oils into your skin to balance out that and kind of unglue those kind of sebum. In the meanwhile, we want to watch out the oils that are high in oleic acid content, which actually is a monounsaturated fatty acid called omega-9. So omega-9 actually makes all of these oils very, very heavy and rich and super duper moisturizing and super occlusive. The molecule size of these oils are generally too big to penetrate inside your pores, so therefore it kind of sits on top, therefore it kind of creates that greasy film on top. Now you might want to get your thumb ready to do some screenshotting because I actually grouped and categorized all the oils depending on the fatty acid profile like right here. First off, we're going to start off with the oils that are high in oleic acid content which makes it super nourishing for dry skin types but if you do have oily skin type, you might want to be a little bit cautious playing with these oils. There's another oil group that is somewhat balanced between the oleic acid content and the linoleic acid content, but it's still higher in oleic acid contents. We're finally moving on to some thinner and drier oil, and these are the oils that are high in linoleic acid content. Last but not least, we have a group that is somewhat balanced between the oleic acid content and the linoleic acid content, but still a little bit higher in linoleic acid content. Now, I didn't get to cover every kind of oil on this planet, so if you're interested in finding out a fatty acid profile of a certain oil, there's a wonderful website called Google. You can just simply type in um, jojoba oil fatty acid profile, it'll come up with like the composition of the fatty acid component. Now, if you're really invested, you might want to look at something called cometogenic rating as well. Even though I talked about the oleic acid and linoleic acid percentage and the ratio and also cometogenic rating, I do not want you guys to obsess too much over these kind of scores and numbers because there are certain oils that has a wonderful healing property, anti-inflammatory property that just goes way beyond these like ratings. Hi. Oh, hey. ID? Oh. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, Mike. Can't let you in. What? It's a little like acid club only, so I think you're a little bit too big for us. Oh, come on. Well, I think we can make an exception if you have like other talents, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, mate, show me what you got. Um, I, I'm really good at, um, I have, um, I have lauric acid listening and I'm 15 times more effective in killing acne causing bacteria than benzoyl peroxide. All right, you're in. But once you cause problem inside, I'm going to kick you out, so yay.
Moving on to my favorite oils that I highly, highly recommend, starting off from hemp seed oil. Now, I eat a lot of hemp seeds um, and I also apply hemp seed topically. Hemp seed oil is known to have that ideal ratio of essential fatty acids, including the omega-3 and 6, so that's why it's so penetratable, easily absorbable into our skin. It goes deep down there to the deeper layer of the skin and really, really, really dissolve the gunk inside the pores, so it can help eliminating the blackheads and whiteheads, so if that's the issue, definitely jump on it. And it can also balance out the sebum production while softening your skin, and it can reduce irritation and redness because it's so anti-inflammatory. So I actually make a cocktail serum using my hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5 serum, and then mix a couple of drops of hemp seed oil and then make my own moisturizer or like a nourishing serum, and it actually absorbs really well, and it provides a long-lasting moisture, so it's perfection. Pumpkin seed oil. A lot of people take pumpkin seed oil tablet as a supplement because it's super rich in zinc and also selenium content, but when you apply that topically, it has a wonderful anti-inflammatory property. And on top of that, it is super rich in vitamin E and K, which are amazing antioxidants. So it protects your skin, it firms your skin, it renews your skin. So it's a wonderful oil for acne prone skin types. The queen of acne treatment, which is jojoba oil. I know a lot of you guys are already using it, seeing positive results. I haven't used it so far, so I can't really share my personal experience, but jojoba seed oil is known to have that similar molecular structure and the fatty acid composition of human's natural lipid. Therefore, your skin kind of absorbs it like a sebum while moisturizing your skin, so it's preventing that dehydration. Also, it's going to trick your skin that it already has sebum on top, therefore it regulates the sebum production. So overall, I think it's a very good balancing oil. We have a wonderful multitasker that can benefit every different skin types including oily skin, mature skin, dry skin, and it is called rosehip oil. A lot of people love it, a lot of people see like wonderful results with this oil because of this content which is retinoic acid and a lot of acne patients are known to have a very low level of vitamin a that's why the acne medications like ruaccutane is like a potent version of retinoic acid and retinol creams and retin a creams can really help you regenerate the skin cells and push out like the gunk and fade that hyperpigmentation acne scars and it prevents acne as well so that's why a lot of people go crazy for retinol i think rosehip oil is like a natural alternative to that rosehip oil is known to be a dry oil so it penetrates deep down there into the level where it generates the skin cells so it can really stimulate the collagen production from the inner layer and then it can push that cell turnover rate on top of that it is rich in vitamin c and it has a good balance of omega-3 and 6 tamanu oil now i'm a little bit sad this oil is a little bit underrated compared to rosehip oil because they can actually do a pretty similar things in terms of regenerating the skin cells but tamano oil is actually perfect for acne prone skin types because it has a superior anti-inflammatory property and a superior healing like skin repairing properties it not only fights against the acne causing bacteria but also it actually fades acne scars i know a lot of you guys have issues with hyperpigmentations the kind of aftermath of the acne so this is something that you might want to consider i haven't been using this long enough to see like massive results but I do see hope with it so I'll definitely keep you guys updated but you guys have to use this as a spot treatment instead of using it all over the face. A lot of skincare products already use all of the oils that I mentioned today, so you can easily find them in over-the-counter products. You can buy like 100% pure natural oil and you can just mix it with your hyaluronic acid serum. You will love it. I highly recommend this. And if you haven't tried oil cleansing method yet, I highly recommend you guys to jump on it because it is amazing, but with the right kind of oil, you can use the oil as it is underneath your moisturizer or on top of your moisturizer, depending on the oil consistency. You can use it as a spot treatment, like I use tamano oil on only the acne scars that I have. So yeah, I hope you guys are convinced now to try out oil and I will leave all the products down below that I highly recommend in the description box as well. It will mean a lot to me if you can share this video with a friend who's suffering from acne. Let's just really create this movement, like the oil movement. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys soon.